What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you really quickly how to install these little boat cleats like this. This is a six incher, but you can use eight inch. Sorry about the wind. Size doesn't really matter in this case, right? What matters is this thick L bracket here made of steel. And this is what's going to tie into your boat docking frame. This is where your support, your structural support comes in. So let's install these today. You can get all these products off of Amazon. I'll have the links down below. Let's get into it. Hopefully you can hear me over this wind here, but an important rule to remember is to get your phone away from the water. Luckily I'm like 10 feet away from shore, so it's not that deep, but my aunt just came into town, dropped a brand new iPhone in there. I just got this brand new iPhone, so I don't want that. Everyone say hi, Nancy. Whatever. All right, this is the first step. So I have a border around my dock, so I'm gonna be able to take this off without replacing any of these other boards. We're taking those off. And they're all mostly these little star bits here. Looks like I'm gonna have some fun with the smaller bit there. But for the most part, cool, stripped. Stripped, okay. Cool, all right. This is an old refurbished dock, so there's gonna be some issues here. So you can find an area to start prying it up a little bit. So you can see it lifted up pretty good. All right, I'm across from my other cleat over there. I'll measure to make sure it's exact. But once I'm here, I have my L bracket. Now your L bracket, you need to make sure the holes align with this first and foremost. Right there, they do not. Over here, they do. And you can see it's a left or right hole. So it gives me room, it gives me flexibility to go left or right. This fits. You can see the holes will line up in there. That means this must be the top, right? Because that's where my cleat goes. These here will be going on the side. This is exactly how it's gonna look when it's all said and done. I'm going to drill holes through here. And you see, I don't have room to drill it in my case. Hopefully you do. If not, I have to drill holes over here, do my measurements, make sure the holes come out straight. And then that way I can bolt them from this side. And then I will bolt up through the decking. If you don't have this here, you can simply just bolt this in to the wall and call it a day. Put a nut on the back side or vice versa. Put a bolt that way, nut it on this side. In my case, I have this here, so I have to do some precise measurements. So this is an inch and a quarter so I'm gonna measure an inch and a quarter down plus the height of these holes basically I just need to get my measurements so these holes will line up on the other side now I know in my case from doing those over there that it's exactly under this flap oh, spider webs I'll actually use this flap exactly and drill my holes directly under it I'm holding that phone a little too close to the water uh -uh. All right, I've got my first marking right there. So I'm gonna hold this up to where the hole aligns with that marking right there, and then mark a hole in this other one. And that'll tell me where I need to drill in. Now there's my two dots. And what's great about the height on these two dots is uh, my bracket actually has elongated up and down holes. So if I'm too short or too tall, there's some wiggle room here. I am using a quarter inch bolt here, so I'm gonna use a quarter inch drill bit. Now I'm using this small size because it's what fits in these holes in the head and all that. Since I am using my phone today and don't have my tripod and all that set up, I didn't show you any cool shots of me drilling a hole, but hopefully you know how to drill a hole and you know what one looks like. If not, I'll put a little action shot of a random person drilling a hole here. Start it up. And this is what my holes look like. There you go. Simple as that. And then if you come over here, you can see it from this side. Boom. Here's what we got. We got the bolt and a flat washer. And then this gap here where my pinky is, is where the wood is gonna be. Then you have this bracket, which is inside in between there, as you saw. Then you have another flat washer. And then you have this split washer, a lock washer right there. And then you have another nut, or your only nut. Once you tighten this nut down, it actually clamps onto that lock washer and makes it a tight, snug fit. This is what we're looking for through both holes. They're all the way through. 
so I'm going to put this on. Then you have your washer, washer one, lock washer. Then you have these, buy some extras in case you drop in the water. Yep, there you go. All right, got some extras. Now do the same for that. Now I'm putting this board back close to in place. I got it lined up on the right and left perfectly. So then I come back over here, pull it off a little bit until I find my bracket. Wish the shadows weren't directly in the way. Now I can see where my holes are. And if they're like they were over there, it's about two and three quarters away from that wall to this hole. So I'm gonna mark two and three quarters from this end to around here. And again, you have some wiggle room to work with left and right. So main thing is measuring from this end to here and drilling out your holes. Now that I have one hole marked, I can figure out that that's where that goes. Now I can mark the other hole the same width here. You're probably gonna have a little gap there. So whatever you measured, subtract an eighth from or so. And uh, that should get you pretty close to that hole. I can see down mine, I can see water. So it looks like I made it. And what also helps is if you actually put this on, then you can drill out that hole perfectly in place instead of counting on where you drew that little mark. The last thing to do is place this on there, get one of your hex bolts, slide it in there, and it'll come out through the bottom. And I can't show you down there. I don't want to put my phone underwater but you put on a washer underneath, then you put on a split washer again, or a lock washer, and then a hex nut. All of this is galvanized, all of it is waterproof to an extent. So this is a combination we're using here. Now, just from my experience over there, this decking is a little thicker than I thought, so I probably should have gone with another half inch longer here so I can fit all this, but regardless, it's easy to do now that these holes and everything, the bracket is there, I can go with longer bolts anytime I want and so on. But for now, I'm gonna do it just how I showed you. You gotta get out on the hole. One-handed, there we go. To reach underneath that nut, I just use this little combination thing here, screwdriver with a socket, and I was able to do that underneath. It would be, if I could go under in the water, it's a little cold right now, I'd be able to use a drill or something to really tighten them up better, but this worked just fine. Let me show you the final results. Not going anywhere. Lollipop, lollipop, lifesaver, lollipop, 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 lifesaver, lollipop, 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 lifesaver, lollipop. <laughs>